Hello everyone, welcome to Kitty's Kitchen. Today we're going to make pork chops in yummy cream sauce. So I'm going to start off by turning on my heat. So Today we're going to have pork chops, but you could really make this sauce with any meat. But today I have pork chops. So I've turned my pan on, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry my pork chops in bacon fat. Okay, our bacon fat is melting nicely, so I'm going to put my pork chops in now. You can wait till their pan's a bit hotter, but it really doesn't matter, because you want to cook your pork chops thoroughly. So if your pan is too hot when you first put them in, you might burn the outside and the inside will still be kind of raw. So I'm going to start out this way. You hear them sizzling there? So this will take about five or six minutes, maybe a little bit more. So I'll be back in about five or six minutes. Okay, it's been about 12 minutes. I know I said about, I said six, but it's closer to 12. These are thick pork chops and, well that's the thing about cooking. It's not always exact. If these were really thin, maybe it would have only taken about six minutes, but here we are. They're nice and nice and golden brown. I'm just going to flip them one more time so you can see. Well, I prefer also... They're sizzling nicely. I prefer also to cook my pork chops and maybe set my kitchen on fire. I prefer to, to cook my pork, uh, pork chops slowly on a, on a, on a lower heat. The, the meat is more tender. It doesn't, you know, oftentimes pork now is very lean. You can, if you cook your pork too fast, it can be like a hot, like a hockey puck. So I'm actually going to turn the heat down just a little bit more. I'm going to add some mushrooms. The, I think I did also put too much fat in the pan, so I'm going to remove some of it. And as, as I was talking, cooking is not an exact science. It's an art. So if you put too much fat in, take some of it out. Well, if you didn't put enough, put some more back in. So, I'll try not to set my kitchen on fire. So I'm going to take a few tablespoons out of there. And this is a kitchen tablespoon. It's not a proper measuring spoon. So we'll try it with that. And if I was going to cook more mushrooms, I would have left that fat in there. But since I'm only cooking enough for these two pork chops today, I'm going to uh, take that amount out. And if you threw your mushrooms in, that's a, that's a culinary term, throwing your mushrooms in. If you put your mushrooms in and it was too dry, well then just add a bit more bacon fat back in. So I'm going to remove these from the pan while we do our mushrooms. And then we'll put them back in once our sauce is made. They're nice and golden brown. I think they look delicious. So I've got about four or five mushrooms here, coarsely chopped, sliced and chopped. I'm going to get my spatula. Start to stir them around. You'll see mushrooms do soak up, soak, soak up fat. So that, that looks to be about the right amount. There's still a little bit in the bottom. I'm just going to stir them around and I'm going to add some salt Salt and pepper. Salt. This is pink Himalayan salt that's so popular now, which I really like, and I hope I, I hope you do as well. And a little bit of pepper, or as much pepper as you like. That's what cooking's about. Cooking what you enjoy and what your family enjoys. I'm going to turn the heat back up just a little bit now. I turned it down because when you're frying the pork chops, they do splatter a little bit. So I'm going to turn them back up. Oops, a daisy. And I'm going to go get the one that tried to escape. And now it looks like maybe I did take too much of the fat out of there, so I'm going to add back just a little bit more. Because there's a lot of flavor in that. I'm going to stir it around just a bit more. Mushrooms really don't take too much time. 
And it also depends on how you like your mushrooms. If you like them cooked a bit more, if you like them a little bit, um, I don't know what you call them, spongy, but you stir them around a bit more. I'm going to put some garlic in now, and I don't, I don't have any fresh garlic, but I do have the minced garlic. And I will be honest with everyone. This is one of my favorite products, even though it's not fresh garlic. The minced garlic. And uh, as I said, I will be honest with you. Today, I don't have any, I don't have any fresh garlic, but it's minus 25 below where I live, and I just don't want to heat up the car and go to the grocery store for garlic on a day like today. So we're using this. And I think, you know, that's the other thing about cooking. If you don't have something, you can improvise. You can improvise very easily and have just as a delicious meal as if you had all fresh ingredients. Because sometimes we just, we just can't get all fresh ingredients. Okay. Now I think that's enough. If the mushrooms are starting to let go of their moisture a little bit, if you had used if you had used more mushrooms, you'd want to cook them a little bit more, but I think we're good here. And mushrooms are pretty versatile and pretty forgiving. So now for our sauce. This is one of the simplest sauces you can make, but one of the, the most delicious and the easiest. You can put this together after work, after a busy day, really quickly and have a really nice meal. So what I have here, I'm going to nod it around. And this is how simple the sauce is. In this cup I have about a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. That's how simple it is. If you have some broth, you could also add broth, depending on what kind of flavor you want. But today we're going to just make the very basic sauce. So I'm going to add, I'm not going to add the whole thing, because in order to make the sauce, you want your whipping cream to reduce a little bit. So I'm going to add in about three quarters of a cup. Now we're going to stir this around. Okay. And it's, it's bubbling here. Now you could, I'm going to turn up the heat just a tiny bit more now. You could do this in smaller increments. But I've, I've put in a, about three quarters of a cup, like I said. So we want to redu it to reduce a little bit. It looks quite watery now. And you could, you could eat it just like this. But, but I want it just a little bit creamier. So I'm going to let this reduce just for another minute. When reducing cream, you always want to be mindful of the heat. You can do it on a higher heat so that it reduces quicker, but keep your eye on it because, because it is dairy. It can burn quite quickly. So it's starting to reduce. I want it to reduce just a little bit more. Okay. Keep moving your mushrooms in and your cream around in the pan. Don't let it sit for too long or it, or it might burn. Okay, that's reducing nicely, so it's almost, well we don't want it to get dry, but we're going to add some more. So that's about a half a cup, or a little, maybe a little bit more than a quarter cup. I'm going to add that in. You'll notice that the um, sauce is starting to turn a uh, very nice uh, brown. That's from the cremini mushrooms. If you had uh, a little bit of broth, you could add that now if you like that flavor. But, but as I said, we're just going to make the very basic sauce this time, and then go on to bigger things, perhaps to another in another video. So this part of the the, the cream gravy or the cream sauce is what uh, takes the time. You just want to keep moving it around and watching to see that it doesn't burn. Keep moving it around, keep moving it around.
Okay, I'm not sure if you can see this or not. Once it starts to look a bit like this, this means that you should add a little bit more cream. So that was probably another quarter cup. For me, it seems easier to add a little bit of a time, little bit at a time, rather than larger amount. I think it's easier to control whether or not it burns that way too. If you put too much in and wait, wait, you're apt to um, forget, leave it for just a minute too long, and it'll start to scorch on the bottom. This is also a very versatile recipe. If you had more mushrooms, if you had more and more pork chops, you are feeding a, a larger group of people. Just fill your pan with the mushrooms, and you would of course use use more whipping cream. If it's too thick, thin it out with some uh, some more whipping cream. If it's too thin, let it cook down just a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more now. It's the last little bit that I had. Add about a half a cup, maybe a little bit more. Okay, at this point we're almost finished. I have a tiny little bit more, or a tiny little bit left in my my measuring cup. I don't want to waste that, so I'm going to put that in our pan here. Now, at this this point in the sauce, it looks a little a, li a little thin, but again, it's what you like. But for our purposes today, I'm actually going to put pork chops back in and let them gently simmer in the cream sauce to finish cooking. And the juices that from the meat that that while they were sitting there, you want that in your pan. Now our sauce has started to bubble up a little bit harder. And I'm going to turn my heat down again. So you'll want to keep an eye on this because the cream may burn if you don't keep moving it around in the pan. And what I would do if I was cooking this for my family is I would turn it right down to the very lowest temperature while I was preparing the vegetables or the salad and just allow it to slowly slowly uh, cook or poach in, in the cream sauce. Okay, and these are these are ready to go. I hope you enjoy this delicious simple sauce. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you for watching Kitty's Kitchen.